Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going to go over here and hit up this shrine. So as I was saying uh, at the end of uh, the last episode is I kind of don't know how uh, to go about doing a Let's Play. I watch a lot of Let's Players and I watch quite a, quite a bit of you know gaming YouTube videos. Um, but like I, I I don't know I don't want to I don't want to come off like I'm copying somebody um, you know or that I'm you know kind of being disingenuous to myself or anything like that I don't want to be like hey guys welcome back I'm over exaggerating YouTuber and you know being way more over the top than I need to be because I mean that comes off as fake to me and it's I, I don't know I don't like when I see that. And it, it's it's all the same stuff, you know. Like it's the same thing on every video, but you know, it, it just I don't like that. And you know, I, I see videos like that, and it makes me want to. It makes me want to click off. Um, I do have the season pass, so I'm going to reap the benefits of these free chests. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, here we are at the Omen Owl Shrine. Anyways, um. Which is the anagram for Al Numa. I am going to skip through these because, I mean, they're, they're, they hold no importance. It's just it's just a little cutscene showing you going down. Everybody knows what it looks like. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to kind of uh, find my find my footing as, uh, as we go along with this. Because I really don't know how to... I uh, really don't know how to do a Let's Play. Commentary-wise. I know you played the game, obviously. But, yeah. I'll just talk about shit, and if I ramble or anything, you know. Or if you just don't like it, then you don't. You, you guys don't have to keep watching. You know. I may not be interesting. I don't. I don't. I know. I know how it goes. Alrighty. Get that magnet. Rune extracted. I just I love how much of an iPad this thing is. I, I just love it. It's the best. Alright, get rid of you. You dumb. Dumb with it. Oh my god, my nose itches really badly. Hmm. Uh oh yeah. I'm going to try my best to get every, uh, like all the little secret hidden shit in each shrine. Uh, but I may pass some, so forgive me if I do. Uh, I don't have to vocal club for this guy. Uh, the little guardians are so easy. It's, it's kind of criminal. Um, the bigger ones, however. Oh, the big ones. Um, I love the music for the Guardians, so For both the small and the large. There's, it, it's really cool music. Boom. Done with it. Pop that bitch open. You got me another bow. Up on our own up. I'm gonna skip these two because they just take a while. We all know how you know they say the same thing on every one, just about. So I mean, it's it's nothing really different. This one is just really cool because it's the anagram of Al Numa, so it's just like, hey, it's Al Numa watching over us. Yep. Cool. So we got one spirit orb. We got three left to get on the uh, Great Plateau, and then we are unleashed upon the world and all of its mm, fucking insanity. I don't know where we're gonna go first. I uh, kind of have an idea. Kind of have an idea for what I want to do first, but uh, we're gonna—I I don't know. I may, I may go, I may go a different route from what I did um, first time I played. All right, and the old man's gonna come. I like his music. It's really cool. 
Uh, yes. Clairvoyance. Foreshadowing. Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it, it can become more difficult to see what's right before one's own eyes. Foreshadowing. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> I cannot read. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho, ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip. Paraglider, please. What do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each one of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That was not the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. That's how lawsuits happen, and why you should always get a bill of sale, or at least have the exchange written down. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. Motherfucker, I'm not a young... I'm over 100 years old. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that Sheikah Tower? What the fuck did I just say? Did, oh my god. I'm telling you guys, illiteracy is a problem. Are you joking? Oh ho ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you. Yes, yes, yes. We know about quick travel. Yes, I get it. You can travel instantly. Yes. Alright, cool. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna open you on up. Travel. Oh, I forgot to open up the chest and everything. I'll go do that in a second. I'll just teleport back and then we'll, we'll open those puppies on up. And get some stuff out of them. So, I, I don't know if you guys, maybe it's just force of habit for me, but I don't really pay attention to the tips here uh, in, in most games. Uh, I don't know if they do a tip during the loading screen. This game has great tips during the loading screen. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't know that they, they tell you in those, so you should pay attention to them sometime if you don't. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use advantage points to search for shrines. Do you know about the scope on the Chica Slate? I do. Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark it on the map. Yes, yes, yes. The pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Got it. Okay. Let's get this over with. Mm. Boom, boom. Where's it at? One. Two. And three. Cool. All there is to it. We just gotta get those three and then... We're off this uh, plateau and then into the meat and potatoes of Breath of the Wild. So, fun fact for you guys. Uh, in my very first playthrough when I first played this game. Um, <laughs> the, the first time I died it was because I fell off of this stupid fucking tower. It was... Uh, only slightly irritating, and I was kind of embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie. I just kinda sat there for a second, and I'm just like, man. Though, you know, like, th this game is... is it proven to be more difficult than previous Zelda games in more ways than one, and the way that I die first is from falling off of a high tower. I'm such a, such a bad player. Alright, so we're going to get over here, and there's a couple chests and uh, some crates over here I want to smash. And I'm for sure upgrading my stamina first uh, when we get to a, um, when we get the orbs. But I'm going to go ahead and open these guys on up and get the goodies inside. That would happen. Break. Thank you. And some baked apples and a couple arrows. And 
have. Uh, let's see. Two chests. Go ahead. Come on. Come to me. Come to me, my sweet. All right. The chests look really cool in this game. I really like them. Got me an opal. An opal Winfrey. And... Is this a ruby? I think it's a ruby. No, it's an amber. Yeah! Look at that. Look at me and my knowledge. Alright. And break this bad boy, and then we're going... Oh my goodness. Such amateur gameplay. What am I doing? Okay. Was there nothing? Wow. Okay. Waste of time. Look at me and my lack of knowledge. Alright, so... What I'm going to first do is... Uh, I think we're going to go do the uh, bomb shrine first. Um, and, uh, well, we kind of have to, actually. Don't, eh, well, not necessarily. Don't have to, but it's an easier option. Um, I'm going to do that one first, because I want to do that one first. And then we, uh, we'll do some other stuff after we get to it. That will be fun. Could go over here and fuck with these guys, though. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? This game's all about the exploration and having fun with it. Let's see. Can't wait to get to Kakariko Village for a certain armor set. Can I hit that? Let me hit that. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm usually not this bad. Oh my god. I did this on the first try earlier. There we go. Oof. I'm so good at this game. I hope you guys came to watch great, co a great, ugh, great gameplay and amazing commentary too, obviously. I stutter over my words very, very few times. Yes, key side ball and the key swing. Make some elixirs out of those a little bit later on. Oh. I'm gonna flurry rush this motherfucker. I like, um, I really like how Nintendo decided to scale the enemies as you, uh, progress throughout the game. Um, I came back to the, uh, the Great Plateau way, way later in my, uh, in my playthrough. Um, and, man, they just had, they had the white, uh, they had the white bacoblins. And I'm like, holy shit, man. Like, I was not expecting this. I was coming here to, like, just practice stuff. Um, and just mess around. Um... And like, I, those guys were presenting a challenge to me. And I was super excited about it. Because it's just like, you know, this game is it's going to constantly evolve and um, and keep you on your toes. Which is great. A lot of games don't do that. You know, you you get stronger in the game and you go back to early areas and you're just, you know, you're, you're breezing through everything. So, I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, they, did a, they paid a lot of attention to everything in this game. It's just... It's superb. It's great game design. Alright, let's see. Where do we want to go next? Also, I'll probably miss a bunch of chests and hidden stuff, you know. So, you know, don't get too mad at me if I miss certain things. I apologize. Open them up. Get some more amber. Get some early money from that. Once I get to a town. To a stable. Get out of here. 
Oh, I didn't want to pick that up, but okay. Yeah, I, like, I just discovered this earlier. Oh, shit. Okay, well. I'll come back to it in a second. So, this is, a. Uh, I want to I want to share this bit of information. So in the uh, in the beginning of the game you are obviously extremely underpowered when it comes against uh, when it comes against guardians and the easiest way to combat that is to do perfect guards for their shield or with your shield to um, deflect their lasers back at them. I didn't know about that till way late in my playthrough. And it could have saved me so, so many times. Um, so, um, if you don't know, like, that, uh, the, the, if I can depart any advice on to you, please. Oh my God, for the love of God, please. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, utilize perfect guard against guardians because it is so useful and so beneficial to you. Um, the way, the easiest way to kind of deflect them is whenever they're charging up, there's a, a distinct beep that happens um, before they shoot. If you press A, as soon as you hear that beep, then, uh, you know, that's the indicator uh, for when you, that's the indicator that it's, uh, it's time to um, deflect it back. So as soon as that, um, as soon as it beeps, press A and you'll deflect it. And um, the uh, the submerged or the the buried, I should say, the buried guardians only uh, usually only take one hit, and then like the roaming ones and the um, like the century ones that uh, you know run around and chase you and shit, they take three, if I'm not mistaken, they'll take three hits, um, which is quite a bit. Um, but um, you know, if you, if you don't have any, um, if you don't have any ancient arrows, or if you don't have any um, really powerful weaponry, that's an easy way to um, combat those guys. Um, and it's uh, I, it's something I would have loved to have known a little bit earlier in the game, because boy, did they they uh, they like to beat my ass quite frequently. All right, so here we are in the bomb shrine. Jabaj. Okay. Sorry, I didn't skip that one. I forgot. He's a little distracted. Cheeks the authenticator. Installing an app. Cool. I really, I love the bombs. I love the fact that they're, um, you know, they're, you know, uh, they're infinite. And it's just so, it's just so great. I love, they're just so much fun to play with. All right. And I love the fact that you can do this and you just have them back to back. If I could throw accurately, that would have been better, but you know, we got the job done. Let's get this puppy open. Traveler's Claymore, inventory sweep. You know what? Pretty sure I got something I don't need. That's about to break. Cool. Can't wait to get some Royal Guard uh, weaponry and uh, shields. God, that stuff is so great. Uh, Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Get you up here. I blew that up, in case you didn't know. These puzzles, I, I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy these puzzles so much. Um, these are just really fun. They're really creative. And, uh, and, oh my god, what am I doing? I did not mean to press that. I'm an idiot. Um, got ahead of myself. Uh, but yeah, the, the, like the shrines are so, so enjoyable. Um, just really enjoy them. There's been quite a few that have, um, like I've had to rake my brain like three or four times over to try and figure it out. Like how, you know, you know what's happening and what it is you're supposed to be doing. 
But uh, they're, they're so much fun. Really enjoy them. Ah. Oop. Let's open you on up. And some more amber. I still don't know if that ball is used for anything in the shrine. I think it's just more or less meant to show you, hey, you can you can bounce around and stuff. And be thrown. Alright, so we're gonna get up here, open this guy on up. I'm gonna skip through it. Cool. We got two orbs, two shrines, and one seed. But um, I think that'll be it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. I super appreciate and love you. Um, like before, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my let's play by all means please do so sorry for my dogs in the background if you heard that uh and uh anyways have a nice day i'll see you guys next time